Hey, all right. This is a quick overview of the paper assignment in order to help give you some guidance about what you need to be doing to do well on the argument paper. So um, with this video, you want to watch this video in combination with um, the argument paper assignment sheet and the liberalism versus socialism questions. So pull those up before you proceed further in this video. All right, the basic crux of the assignment is you need to write an argument paper where you pick a side in terms of which is the superior ideology, meaning proper organization for human, uh, for human society, liberalism or socialism. Ultimately, what this paper asks you to argue is which is the superior ideology and why. So the paper needs to be um, uh, three pages in length. Um, it's going to be a four or five paragraph essay. And again, it's asking you to clearly pick a side and argue which is the superior ideological system. Not that either of these ideological systems, these orderings of human society uh, are perfect. Neither of them are perfect. And we'll talk more about that in terms of uh, the uh, context of the assignment but it's asking you to argue which one is the superior of the two. So you won't be graded on which one you pick, you'll simply be graded on um, how well you argue your point of view. Um, also uh, in the instructions it says, do not use first person um, in your thesis or at any point in this paper. So what you wanna do in the intro then, you want to clearly state which side of the argument you're on. What this is asking you to do is pick a side. There are, strong, there are strengths and weaknesses of both ideologies. What this is asking you to do is to pick a side. So in your introductory paragraph, you need to state your thesis by choosing which side of the debate you ultimately fall on and summarize why. So if you've got the document open, which you should in front of you, I would just write here something to the effect of, Make it 100% clear in your thesis, in your intro, which side you have picked. Uh, let's just take a look then at the other document and then we'll hop back to the um, assignment sheet. I would consider as you start to gather evidence on both sides of the argument, I would consider some of these questions. Not that the paper is asking you to just talk through these questions one by one. That's not what the paper is asking you to do. But these are some questions that could help guide some line of argument, some lines of argumentation in your paper as you consider which ideology do you adhere to the most, liberalism or socialism? Um, questions like which do you find to be most just? Um, which do you identify more with regarding its pathway to progress? Those are based off of the discussion board questions and the homework questions. Um, pathway to societal advancement. Which, which one do you think has the stronger viewpoint in terms of its um, outlook on human nature? Um, how self-reliant should people uh, have to be versus how much support should they expect from the larger society, larger community? These are the types of questions that could be helpful to you. Again, you don't need to answer all these questions in the paper, but these are the type of questions that could be helpful to you as you write this paper. All right, and then um, in your intro and for your thesis in your intro, you wanna make it 100% clear about which side you're arguing. You wanna to start to set up some of the topics that you're gonna go more into detail and into depth in, in the body paragraphs. You wanna read over this um, yourself, but here this is essentially saying you need to bring in some very specific details in the body paragraphs to support your line of argumentation, whether you pick socialism or whether you pick liberalism, we need some real specific details about its strengths. Here's the other major aspect of this paper, and in order to write a top paper for this assignment, and in order to score anywhere in the A range for this assignment, you also need to do this in one of the body paragraphs. So let's read this together. In order to write a top argumentative paper in at least one of the body paragraphs, you need to bring in the other side's point of view on the topic. And then as you bring in some specific details from the other side, from the other point of view, you need to creatively argue against it and undermine the other side's um, uh, talking points to demonstrate its inferiority compared to your stance. 
this is the key to argumentative writing. You bring in specifics from the other side, but then you talk about, well, but this is why it still doesn't stack up to my uh, argument. Here are the weaknesses with this, and that demonstrates that my side is correct, um, et cetera, et cetera. So the expectation for this paper in the body paragraphs is you bring in, this is what this is talking about here, you bring in specifics to support your point of view, but the expectation is also you bring in the opposite point of view, the other side, and then you show its relative weakness and inferiority compared to your argument. Think about the opposite perspective to your point of view. What's its best supporting evidence that supports its argument, but what's its flaw? What's its shortcoming? What's the problem with the other side? And how does that um, fault of the other side that you've pointed out show the superiority of your argument? Again, you need to do this in at least one of the body paragraphs. Other than that, the conclusion just needs to be a brief summary of the thesis and major supporting statements. Um, <coughs> excuse me. The key to doing well on this um, paper is to look over the materials. And these are the resources from weeks one and two of our online class. Look over the specific details of what liberalism says, what socialism says, um, weave those into a highly detailed argumentative paper. And um, the other keys then are to um, read the directions on this assignment sheet and ask for help if you have any questions. Thanks.